guys, there is just something about a foam like this in my coffee in the morning that makes it feel like such a decadent treat. I mean, it's skim milk for goodness sakes. It's not sweetened, it's not flavored, it's just air whipped and look at how gorgeous it is. I mean, I am obsessed with how nice this foam comes out of the Verismo frother. Anyway, that's my second cup of coffee as always. So, three points in coffee today. Good morning everybody. How are you today? I'm back with another what I ate. And today might be an interesting day because I have a weird shift at work where I will not have a lunch break. Um, and it starts, my shift starts at 10 and is over at 3 and then I've got errands to run. So I'm not really sure if I'm going to eat breakfast or lunch today. Um, so of course my breakfast will consist of my um, coffee and um, protein shake, protein bar, and cheese um, spread out throughout the day at work. And then I've packed some little stuff to take with me while I run my errands. Um, it's okay if I'm a little lighter on my calories or my points or whatever this morning because tonight we're going to my brother's house um, for dinner and I think my mom's making risotto uh, and we're going to have deviled eggs and yeah, so it'll probably be a pretty high point evening. Uh, so the lighter I am during the day, the better off I will be point wise because I am almost at the end of my weekly points today. Uh, and my week doesn't reset till Friday. This is the first time since I've been on Weight Watchers, except maybe over Christmas, um, that I have used up all of my weekly. So we'll see what the scale shows on Friday. Um, but it's been an interesting and fun week and busy, so I'm okay with that, even though I get a little bit out of my comfort zone when I have to choose um, to eat foods that maybe aren't in my normal everyday range of foods uh, and that's that control freak in me but you know what I acknowledge it and I'm dealing with it and it's okay I'm good with it whatever this week brings is what this week brings it's been a great week so anyway that's it I'm going to uh, show you All what right, I so you've today. already seen my coffee and this is the rest of my breakfast a banana a banana protein shake and my vitamins so we're looking at two three and a half points right there in addition to my coffee, which was three points, so six and a half points for breakfast total. All right, and then for my snacks slash lunch, my choices today include another Premier Protein that I may have this afternoon after I leave work, my protein bar, and a bag of grapes, mandarin oranges, and some baby bell cheese. So if I eat everything that I have right here, we're looking at 10 points. So two for the shake, five for the protein bar, three for the cheese, the fruits free. So that would put me at 16 and a half points for the day going into my dinner, so I'm not really sure I'm going to eat all of it. I may not eat the protein bar. Um, I don't know. It'll just depend on what I feel like when it comes time for my break. I may just do both the cheeses and the fruit uh, and see how I feel and see if I can get it to the end of the day without using too many points because I really want to have points left over to enjoy dinner. So that is what I've got so far today. And of course, I will be back later with more what I ate. All right, so I'm doing a real quick little run to Costco. And then most of my groceries are coming from Walmart today. And I'm going to go pick them up. But I just wanted to give you guys a real quick rundown. So I'm getting some cage-free egg whites. Those are zero SPs per serving. Red Sable Scrape, zero SPs. 
these Gilbert's Caprice chicken sausages are three and a half points each. Amy's apple gouda are three and a half points each. And five ounces of this sweet and tangy chicken is three and a half points as well. So that is my Costco run for the day. Oh, and of course I have a whole five dozen cage-free eggs there so yeah yummy all right you guys well i'm off work i've done costco i filmed what i got at costco and now i'm at walmart picking up my groceries and they're ready for me they came fast so i'll be right back all right so groceries were ready when i got here i didn't wait at all to pick them up so totally thrilled now i'm going to run home i'm going to do an uh maybe i'll do a grocery haul and show you guys what i got at walmart um and then we're going to my brother's for dinner. So it is a gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous summer-like day. It's 72 degrees outside. I'm in short sleeves. The air conditioner's on in my car. The sun is out. I really wanna take a walk. So maybe I'll take a little walk if I have time before we go to my brother's house. We'll see. If I do, I'll take you with me. All right, I'll be back when I get home and do my grocery All right, you haul. guys, this is my grocery haul from Walmart. And I do have a couple things that I also got at Costco that I didn't show you in the earlier video. So I'm going to tack those on here to the end. But first, I want to show you Walmart gave me a little gift bag. Um, they do this every once in a while. And it's kind of sweet. It's mostly just samples, but I am never one to say no to free stuff. So... It's a little gifty bag. This little bag's so tiny, you really can't use it for anything except maybe a lunch bag. But let's see what we got. We got some Splenda Naturals, a couple survey cards so they can make sure I actually give them feedback. Some Quaker Simply Granola, a little bottle of water, leftover it looks like from Christmas. Maybe um, a full can of well, yes, tomato carrot bisque soup, which I wonder if it's gluten free. Nope, wheat flour right there. We gotta ruin a good thing with that damn old gluten. Let's see what else we got. Oh, I love these bars, but as you can see, this one is a little beat up. This is actually my favorite flavor of these. So yay. Seven points right there on that bar, I'm pretty sure. Some sample of Ken Pavis or Pavis hair stuff. He's um, Jessica Simpson's guy, I think. Why I know that, don't even ask. And then a pastry crisp bar. Some hand cream. Another survey card. They really want me to do a survey. Oh, they must know how old I am because look what they gave me. Anti-aging cream. Woohoo. Good thing visible wrinkle results start day one because that's probably only one day's worth of cream. So that's my freebie. So let's go on to what I bought. I ordered organic bananas, but I told them they could substitute. So they threw in non-organic bananas for me which I guess is okay. Got some yellow potatoes. I got my horseradish. If you guys remember a few days I was looking for this, so I'm very excited. Um, I'm hoping that this is literally just horseradish. Oh, fantastic. When I was looking for this at Meyer, they all had um, sugar added to them. They all had, you know, all kinds of ingredients. I just wanted horseradish, so there we go. The Yoders, leave it to the Amish to do just things good and pure. Then I got some of these Take and Shake potatoes. I'm not sure how many points they're gonna be, but they sounded really good when I was looking on their website. Oh my gosh! Seriously, I can't even eat them. Look at that, sorry for yelling. But gosh darn it, why do you have to ruin potatoes? Enriched wheat flour, well those are out. Hubby will have to enjoy them. Let's see, do they all have it? Yep. Enriched wheat flour. You guys, this is why you got to watch what is in your food. My heavens. Enriched wheat flour. Now, look at this. This should just be potatoes and seasoning. 
Yeah, look at the ingredients. And look at that, sugar, to oh my gosh. Well, that's the only downside to Walmart ordering is they do not put the um, nutrition label on the um, website. So when you look at items, you can't really look at the nutrition label and find out what's in them. So you kind of take a chance if you order something new like I did. So I'm not really happy about that, but somebody in the house will eat them and I'm sure my husband will love them. All right, so let's move on. We've got some Honeycrisp apples, got some Pink Lady apples. Hopefully no wheat's been added to those and they're just apples. Got some flavorings for my drinks. Blueberry raspberry and grape. I ordered another flavor, but they were out and I said no substitutions. So, And I got this ham and turkey breast and then I got this oven roasted turkey breast mega packs I really like that so I'm hoping hubby will eat these and I can eat that got some romaine hearts because I saw somebody made some wraps out of them and they sounded really good and then another downside to ordering on Walmart is you have to be careful of the sizes of things that you specify because I didn't think I was ordering this many Roma tomatoes but I now have Roma tomatoes coming out my ears. So, maybe I'm going to be making some salsa or something this week. And then, of course, spinach, my staple, some zucchini that are normal size. Because the other day when I went to Meijer, all they had were zucchinis that were about this big. And I'm not even sure I can spiralize those, so I went ahead and got some more. Hubby will probably yell at me about that, but oh well. And of course some celery hearts because I've decided I want to always have those on hand. And then at Costco I picked up two things I didn't show you. One were these Whisk Cheese Crisps. They are on sale and I love these. Um, 15 of these was like three and a half, four points, so yay. And then I got these Harvest Snap Peas, which you know I love. Um, and I think a serving of those is three or four points as well. So that is it. That's what I bought today at the grocery um, and at Costco. So hope you enjoyed my haul. And I will be back later today to show you the rest of what I ate. All right, so I am home from dinner, and I, of course, did not have any of the cheesecake dessert, so I'm going to have dessert now, plus I'm hungry. So I'm just having a bowl of cherries with some Greek yogurt and some sugar-free chocolate syrup on top. And so the whole bowl is two points for the yogurt only. The syrup and the cherries are both free. It's going to wrap me up for the day, so if you guys, like always, enjoyed my video, give me a thumbs up, let me know you watched, and if you want to get notifications when I post something new, please make sure you hit that subscribe button, and I'll be back again real soon. Bye, guys.